In this video, you'll be introduced to Terraform Stacks, an enhancement to the Terraform runtime announced at HashiConf in October 2023 in San Francisco. In today's Terraform, it's often required to utilize multiple distinct Terraform configurations applied to multiple deployments, regions, or accounts. The distinct configurations have interdependencies between them, often where one configuration creates infrastructure that is then used with another provider to plan resources within it. The combination of several infrastructure components across several environments creates a multiplicative effect requiring a large grouping of isolated workspaces, each with their own settings, run queues, and life cycles. All of these, which together constitute a single well-defined system, must be orchestrated outside of Terraform by the user via execution chaining, custom scripting, and external tooling. As organizations scale their Terraform usage, the burden of managing each infrastructure component across environments becomes increasingly difficult. Terraform stacks are an enhancement to the Terraform runtime, which eliminate the need to manually manage cross-configuration dependencies and automate the workflow of provisioning across multiple deployments. Each component uses a standard Terraform module, and data can be passed between them by using the output values of one component as the input values for another. The Terraform runtime then automatically handles these dependencies, understanding how to defer planning changes in one component while required unknown values are being created in another. Users can then use the same set of components and deploy them multiple times across what are known as deployments. A deployment represents any sort of account, environment, region, or landing zone defined and parameterized by the user. To better understand a stack, let's go through an example. Let's define a system for networking infrastructure in Terraform using HashiCorp console, utilizing HashiCorp Vault as its certificate authority for service mesh, all managed by Kubernetes as their container orchestrator. This is a multi-component system where there are two major provider dependencies. The Kubernetes cluster must exist before utilizing the Helm and Kubernetes providers to connect to that cluster, to allow Terraform to plan the resources necessary within that cluster. Similarly, Vault must be ready to serve certificates utilizing its PKI secrets engine for console to be configured and initialized for service mesh. Today, this sort of setup often looks like this in Terraform Cloud. Workspaces utilize naming conventions to fully delimit their purpose, controlling the combination of one sort of component in one sort of region and deployment environment. Because of the overhead required, it's common to utilize a sort of bootstrap or meta workspace to use Terraform itself in managing them with the TFE provider for Terraform Cloud and Terraform Enterprise. Stacks provide a new layer on top of Terraform shared modules to allow them to be composed, deduplicated, and modified in the context of a larger provisioning and deployment system. We're defining a new configuration language for managing stacks, which extends the infrastructure as code concept to encompass this layer of infrastructure management. Multiple Terraform modules can be organized and deployed together using components. Once this set of components is defined, it is parameterized and orchestrated using a deployments language, allowing it to be effortlessly replicated multiple times across what are known as deployments. Now, Let's take a look at a stack in action in Terraform Cloud. Looking at the overview for our system with console and vault on EKS, you can view the status of each stack deployment. These deployments are managing the same infrastructure that we previously split into three separate workspaces for each environment. You've just heard some of the challenges deploying this in a multi-workspace workflow, so let's see how much easier it is to spin up a new production environment in the Asia-Pacific region with a stack. I just need to add in a new production deployment block, commit the change, open the pull request, and merge it. Back in my stack overview page, a notification has popped up regarding a new configuration event, and if I click in, we can see plans for the four deployments we had prior, checking to see if there are any necessary changes for those deployments, which there are not, as well as the in-progress plan for the new deployment. Without any custom scripting or external tooling, Terraform itself understands the component dependency ordering required for this system. You can see that the plan details here look familiar. 
we can see all the resources that are going to be added by this change and can click in to get additional details. The Vault and Console components have unknown values that prevent Terraform from fully planning the entire system yet because the Vault and Console components use the Kubernetes and Helm providers to connect to the EKS cluster for planning, and that requires the cluster to exist first. Console also needs certificates, stored in Vault, to use for console service mesh. We've built additional knowledge into Terraform to defer planning changes in components that don't have enough of known values yet to even plan, which it has done here. Additional plans will be automatically initiated to provision the entire system to completion. Stacks makes it so that we can handle provider dependencies like these in a graceful way that manages the lifecycle of the system as a whole without having them defined in a single Terraform module where you would have to use tedious resource targeting in order to get your infrastructure stood up. Rolling out changes across multi-workspace workflows can also be quite a challenge. Let's see how Stacks removes some of this friction. Let's say we'd like to increase the overall fault tolerance of our console clusters in every environment and region. To do this, I'll just edit our deployments configuration, which allows us to declare input values at a high level across our stack. I'll change a local I defined to represent console failure tolerance, which will result in the necessary replica accounts in the inputs defined for each deployment. Committing our changes, I can take a look at staging first, inspect the plan, and approve it. I can then move forward with production, selecting multiple of these plans to review at once if I want. This is a straightforward change, so I've decided to just roll things out across most regions. I also have the option to hold off on approving this change for every deployment, as I've done here with the Asia Pacific region. I can save that deployment for later, even while additional configuration changes continue to come into the system for the other deployments. This is just a small sample of the greatly enhanced workflow that Terraform stacks offer to help you tame your complex infrastructure and scale along with your needs. Thank you.